Hello, this is a video message for, well, specifically for X Streets Ahead uh, landlords. Um, that's the business that we bought, uh, I was gonna say a week, uh, a month ago, nearly a year ago now. So um, there was another video that uh, I recorded and you'd have received it in the last you know, couple of hours, day or so ago. And uh, I wanted to record a specific video. There was you know, a lot in the last video and the email, a lot to digest. And I thought if I just kept going on and on and on, it gets to be, uh, it gets to be too much. So I thought I'd put a second second video together. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm Jess, hi. <laughs> I own ForTheLandlords.com and um, I probably haven't said hello to some of you guys, which is uh, you know, terrible. The, 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 uh, the meet and greet welcome hi event that we planned just never happened of course so um i wanted to just run through a few things everything in the previous video that i sent about having what we called um a, a clearing the decks couple of months you know the, the highs and the lows getting caught up with stuff there, there was a period when we had you know we couldn't do any viewings and then all of a sudden people left and then people moved in and then there was loads of inspections. To, you know, the, 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 the stop start nature of what happened throughout COVID meant that there was always a pressure. There was always a catch up point. And a couple of months ago, we decided, right, you know, end of lockdown, that, that was it. Everything, you know, freedom days, it happened. And we took stock and we said, what we need to do for the next two months is just keep our heads down. We've got all these things we want to tell landlords about the future and all the good stuff. Um, but now's not the time. Let's keep our heads down. So September and October, we did that. We cleared the uh, the voids list. All the, almost all the properties have gone now. Uh, I think literally there were there was three left that were sort of COVID related. And by the time you listen to this video, they will will not be there because they're they're renting at the rate of sort of fifteen a week. So we're going to keep up with stuff now. Um, and yeah, clearing the decks. You've also got um, a dedicated person to speak to. You know. Do you know who we all are? Um, we've, we've, we've been, you know, there's been three new people at the start. All of them started behind closed doors. Some of them working from their spare bedroom or the kitchen table. You know, not ideal at all. Um, we've got another office over in, in uh, Nottingham. So quite a lot of the stuff got done over there. And, you know, sometimes, you know, how, how do you get into our office on Babbin District? That's been one of the comments. It's, well, there's a side door. There's a little buzzer. Um, but we, we realised that, you know, it wasn't connected after some month. We'd just taken over Taji's office upstairs, of course, so we didn't know that that didn't work. But you know, all sorts of little things like that. You know, we're always available at the end of the phone line or whatever. But um, just just some things specific to you guys, because um, we, we, we think we've done really rather well. And uh, we'd just like to sort of point out a few things and, 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 and let you know. Um, like I say, all the, all the voids are are clear now everything everything's gone we've uh, really got got uh, sorted out with the maintenance things as well it's quite a lot you know just come into the new business and really start to sort of ramp up and work out we're, we're hopefully working really well with all your contractors we're bringing on our contractors now and one of our kpis and you'll get to know more and more about us as a business for the landlords is called for the landlords because i'm i'm the landlord it's for and i'm i'm a landlord myself and I set the business up to look after me it now looks after you know, hundreds of other landlords in the same way but I, I sit on the sidelines and push this team to be as good as they possibly can for any landlord uh, and one of the things I insist on is that the maintenance that happens in, in my portfolio and therefore in your portfolio is done you know, on time on budget to good quality it needs to be value for money I shouldn't be able to sort it out cheaper myself for the same price and same quality and i know that that took a bit of working out in derby we were in derby already we got uh, you know 300 odd units in derby before we bought streets ahead but still you know getting into in, into and with your contractors and getting gas certificates organized and everything getting 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 it all spinning and rot rotating around the, the the reactive and the proactive stuff um hopefully you've seen our uh, video and uh, um, physical as, as well uh inventories coming through you'll start to see those coming through now they're, they're a good innovation that, that sort of happened throughout uh, lockdown and throughout covid but it's something we're continuing with they, they just work really well um arrears arrears never really became a problem in our business they never have been um throughout covid we had a lot of conversations to manage things but that those conversations actually 
they 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 changed changed made made the difference and, and, and changed things. Uh, we our arrears rate actually went down during COVID. Uh, when I say our our arrears for Israel, we took the streets ahead stuff out, your your, your specific stuff out, and uh, the the main bulk of the portfolio that we had before the arrears rate went down. Perhaps because we had this sort of full court press around it. Um, the specific news I wrote I wrote it down on purpose. Um, you know, there's vastly reduced arrears in your portfolio. Now it might, may or may not um, relate directly to the, who I'm speaking to now, but Streets Ahead as a portfolio had just over £44,000 worth of arrears before we took over. That's come down to, I've, I've got it down here as £2,700 of the arrears, and I think that will be even lower by the time you, you'll listen to this, because I know there's a few, few things going through still. Um, you know, it's a massive difference. Put that into context, you know, our um, you know, our we, we're very we're very proud of our arrears rate. We won't sort of bang on about the past and what happened, but our arrears rate, generally speaking, is zero point five percent of rent collection, and we're very hot on that as a KPI. And um, you guys are now part of that, and, and that, that makes a difference. If we're focusing on making landlords happy, we know that that means you need more money, you need less hassle, and you need your time back. And the money bit there really gets focused on. So. Uh, we will be putting rents up throughout. Um, you know, now we're, we're catching up. We're putting rents up. So yeah, really focus on the money and the value for money on the on the maintenance stuff. Um, we're sending out an email. You'll get you'll get it in the next couple of uh, days. You will have a dedicated contact uh, for um, rent relationship. That's all the the, the 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 legal admin that that kind of thing. The paperwork, the the, the, the ASTs, the move-ins as well. Uh, property management. You'll have a dedicated contact for and accounts. You'll have a dedicated contact for. Karen will be sending out an email uh, and there'll be a, 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 a dedicated client happiness officer there as well. Hopefully you got that message as well. And then the final thing, we're moving office. Um, that office above uh, streets ahead um, for all we've, we've grown to uh, lo lo love it and, and uh, know it and love it. Um, we think it's time to move on. We need a bigger place. We're expanding. We've got three new team members to support you guys. Um, we think it'd be nicer if it had better parking and was more convenient. Um, a, a, a receptionist, so you know, we haven't got space for receptionist. That funny door situ situation down there as well. So this will be open during, I think it's at eight or six. There's a receptionist all the time. You know, if the team are out doing, you know, meeting you guys or on site doing a viewing, there'll still be somebody there to take a key or take a message or whatever it is. Um, the phones will get answered easier there because all the all those things are routed through to a proper switchboard, so that will work well. Um, it's in the Rolls Royce building. We're going to be there from the first of December. Hopefully, we can welcome you in person there. They've got their own COVID sort of rules there but they're a lot more relaxed these days than they were just two two months ago so we, we can have people and host people in there like i say it's a bigger room um there's a there's a landlord lounge wi-fi there's food there there's a good decent coffee machine so it's, it's a lot better it's still city center so you can get there just as easily as babington street lots of on street free parking all around um and uh, yeah, we just generally just think it's going to be a much better thing. So uh, hopefully that's uh, miss me saying hi, load of new changes. You know where to find us, you know who to call. And we're going to start talking a lot more often, telling you all the good things we're doing. Uh, and we're sending out, I forgot to mention it, uh, an email every month to all our landlords. Please do reply. Let us know how we're doing. One to ten. One's not very good. Ten's great. Keep giving us your score. I'm going to be checking up on these every single month. Uh, on the same email that goes every, out every month, you can just literally click it on your iPhone, it takes half a second, done. If you want to write a comment, write a comment, I will see all those comments, Karen will go through them all and she'll bring them into our board meeting and uh, she'll highlight, that's, that's not true, I won't see all of them, she'll highlight the ones that are, you know, if you're just saying thanks very much, she'll say I've got a 17 to say thanks very much. If it's a specific thing that we need to discuss, Karen will bring that to the meeting and then we will discuss them. Uh, and there's also the opportunity there, because I don't think you know, some of our, you, you guys, you might not know all the things that we do. And uh, there's an opportunity there for a, what we call a, yeah, helping building your buy to let business plan uh, is offered once a month by that email as well. We are we spend time, effort and money helping you build your buy to let business. So yeah, we're, we're always here for that. You know, if you want to buy more properties, if you want to optimize the ones you've already got, we're there to actively you know, sit on your, your property portfolio board, if you want to put it that way. That, that's, that's, the, that's the job that we do. So um, that's a hi from me, bye from me for now, but uh, definitely stay in touch over the, uh, the coming weeks, months, years. All right, bye for now.